Social studies is a way for us to understand ourselves. It is a way for us to make sense of how people act, a way to look at the cultures of different places, and a way to understand the past, among other things. However, though it is essential to study the topics of social studies to understand ourselves, it goes forgotten, underappreciated, and labeled as boring by most people. Why? It has become a subject that is tainted by lies and misunderstandings, and it has failed to be taught in an exciting way that allows people to see its importance. In order to work toward making social studies more valued and appreciated, it is important to look at how it is viewed critically to see what needs to happen. We as educators can make a change. We need to make social studies more engaging. Engaging material will make it memorable in the minds of people and will help students who are learning the topics remember them clearly by associating it with something enjoyable. For instance, Lauren recalls one of her fondest memories of social studies in elementary school. Remember this awesome um, unit in early elementary school? My guess would be, well, third or fourth grade, maybe? We had this whole unit on pirates and what the teacher ended up doing for like our research project kind of thing. She split us into guys and girls and the guys researched guy pirates. The girls researched girl pirates. <laughs> Just like a couple of them. I think she gave us the names of a couple. Um, and then we had to put on a play kind of like the story of these pirates. We also need to make it relatable. We need to make the people and events and cultures things we can relate to and find commonalities with. The topics can't be something that we have no way to associate with. Instead, we need to help our students see connections and show them how they can learn from these people, events, and ideas to better themselves. Finally, we need to open up the field of social studies. Right now, it is closed off and limited. We need to share multiple perspectives and viewpoints. By telling one side of the story, we are failing to develop critical thinkers and failing to understand our past and future abilities. We need to teach social studies from different perspectives. We need to bring in different cultures and viewpoints and give them value. We mustn't silence parts of our story. We must show value in exploring different perspectives in order to truly appreciate social studies. The problem with social studies is not the content. The content is fascinating. The problem is how it is approached and the connotations surrounding it. People struggle to remember learning social studies, and when they do recall it, the first thing that comes to mind seems to be negative thoughts of being bored and having too many facts and dates given to them to memorize. This strategy of teaching rote facts causes social studies to be associated with negativity. The rote facts gets lost in our memories and mean very little to us. It removes the real stories behind the dates, events, and people. When interviewing students, it was shocking to realize how limited their understanding of social studies topics are. They recited common facts, but have little understanding of the larger, more fascinating stories. We, as teachers, need to make the facts interesting and meaningful by engaging our students in the stories and using projects and activities, not just lecturing facts at them about what they are expected to remember in limited ways. The other problem is how we as a society hide perspectives. We do so to show the side of the stories that we find more acceptable, but that isn't right. From learning more about the history of UNC and sharing it with friends, it was evident that we are doing no good by hiding the more difficult topics. And what do you think about how we don't learn about all of the kind of like underlying racism and the slaves that aren't recognized in the fact that at one point in time there were more slaves on campus than there were students to take care of everything on campus. I, mean, I suppose it is a part of history that people need to recognize but at the same time I feel like certain majors they're not going to focus on that and even the university doesn't want to make it seem like uh, probably don't want to share necessarily the bad part of history. Yeah. But is it right to completely silence it? No. We mustn't get lost in the lies that are supported by telling only the dominant and most accepted perspective. We must challenge this and share more than one perspective to make the stories come to life. To fix the negativity surrounding social studies, we must be honest, show connections to our lives, and use engaging activities. Being honest will require us to share the different viewpoints by using many resources, by showing evidence of first-hand experiences through things like journals, stories, and photos, 
by taking students on field trips to see the real impacts in museums or historical sites, and by showing them firsthand new cultures and experiences that make us human. We need to bring in new perspectives and vocalize those previously silenced to show the same stories in new ways. Second, we need to connect social studies to our lives like it is intended to be. We can do this by focusing on comparisons and similarities between people, cultures, and time periods instead of letting the differences separate and limit understanding. We can show students how we can learn from the past to move forward and improve our tomorrow if we don't make these events and people seem so distant from their understanding and experiences. This human commonality will help us get past stories of heroes and villains who we struggle to connect with. We are all people, and those who we study are people as well, who we can relate to and learn from by striving to be great like them or working hard to be better. Finally, we must use engaging activities by using field trips, projects, many books, and writing activities, among other things, will help students anchor the facts in, of social studies in fun, memorable, and exciting activities that will stand out in their memories. These activities can also connect to other subjects to teach our students about how multidimensional and interconnected social studies is and how the topics of social studies are the topics that make us who we are. Social studies is important because history and understanding people and cultures is important. History tells our story. We must make it more than just a list of dates and facts about events and peoples we can't relate to. We must make it meaningful. We mustn't be afraid to talk about the sides of the stories we are not proud of because in the end, these are the things we can learn the most from. We must learn to appreciate social studies.